Hey everybody, this is Matt from Cincy Jungle. The draft has come and gone. We have seven new Bengals on the roster, and now it's time to talk about those guys. You know, take a little bit of a look at their film and see what they're bringing to the table. So I will be doing a series of four videos uh, that will cover all seven players. And in addition to that, if you go to Cincy Jungle, uh, I will have film room articles on each of the seven. So seven articles, four different videos, and the film room articles have uh, film clips in them. And it's a little bit different because those articles will focus on the player themselves, whereas these videos are going to focus on what the player can do for the Bengals uh, and how that player fits within the offensive or defensive uh, system that the Bengals run. Uh, so that's a little bit of, uh, of the difference with that. And we are going to start off today. I think people were very excited uh, about the prospect of bringing in an offensive lineman, uh, making an improvement to this offensive line through the NFL draft. Uh, and it didn't come as early as some would have liked, uh, but it came. And it came in the sixth round with uh, Hakeem Adeniji from the University of Kansas. Uh, Adeniji is a four-year starter at tackle at Kansas. He also played some guard at the Senior Bowl. So he brings some position versatility with him. Uh, and the things that I really like about him are how athletic he is and how intelligent he is. And we're going to focus on some of those things. Uh, but first, let's talk about his power. All right. So we're going to take a look here uh, at a clip of the Bengals versus the Browns. Uh, and they've been running a lot more of these, uh, this gap scheme where uh, you have down blocks and you have pulls. So if we take a look at uh, the left tackle here, all right, he's going to have a down block, right? Struggles with it. The, the, it's actually the tight end technically by formation, but it's another tackle here uh, that has to kind of pick up for it. All right, but hey, they're giving something up a little bit there. All right, it ends up being a negative play for the offense. Now we're going to take a look at Kansas running a similar play. And Hakeem Adeniji is number 78, and he's the left tackle in all of these clips. So he's right here, all right? And here he's got a player that looks like he's basically head up on him, all right? And that's the guy he's responsible for blocking as they're going to pull around and try and get uh, to the outside with the running game. All right, so take a look at Adeniji. Engages on the man, all right? Even though the guy looks like he's basically head up, okay? It looks like he's basically head up. He doesn't give up leverage. Doesn't allow that guy to flow. And he drives him about three and a half yards down the field. All right. So take another look here. Engaged. Gets leverage. Keeps him from going outside. Drives him down the field. So that's an excellent job there. And you, and you see, he's got he's got some strength to his game. You know, he's got some strength. He's got some power. When you ask him to down block, he can do those things. But, you know, in these gap schemes, we got guys pulling too. And uh, Adenergy didn't, doesn't do a lot of pulling at Kansas. Uh, but he... Is, is definitely, you know, an athlete who can do those sort of things. And we're going to take a look at, at some clips of him doing some things uh, that, that, you know, kind of showcase that. Uh, but to start with, let's take a look at, uh, you know, some zone game, uh, some, some of the wide zone and how the Bengals are using their players uh, athletically in those situations. Uh, and then I'll show... Adeniji, uh, you know, making some similar blocks at, uh, at Kansas. So take a look at Bobby Hart here. He's the right tackle. All right. He pulls out wide. Okay. He pulls out wide on this toss play. All right. And he gets just enough on that, on that defender to run from making a tackle. Not a great block, but, you know, it gets just enough. Here's another toss play. Okay, again, focus on the right tackle. Bobby Hart gets out there wide. Now, that's a good job. He gets engaged and gets on there and makes a good block. Now, look, that's a defensive back. So I, I get that all his alignment should be able to make that block from a you know from a strength standpoint. Uh, but, you know, being a 300-plus pounder and being able to, to get out there on a more athletic – person and block them in space you know that's what we're looking at here uh and that's something that really identity brings to the table so we'll take a look at identity doing something very similar again uh all these clips he's the left tackle so he's down here at the bottom of the screen all right we'll see him coming out wide 
engaged in the second level defender. That guy kind of tries to take the outside gap on him. All right. Really trying to force the ball back inside. That's all right. He puts him on the ground. All right. But the idea is he can get out there uh, and play in space effectively. Okay. Now, we're going to look at this play against the Jets in Week 13. We're going to look at this a couple of times, actually, because there's some really good things on here that, re that relate uh, to things that identity can bring to the table. So, first, we're going to look at the left tackle here, number 77, okay? Uh, and the run action is going away, all right? It's a wide run away. So, he is going to look to cut off that uh, that four-eye technique, all right? The guy that's right inside of him, he just gets in front of him and just cuts it. Okay, gets in front of him, cuts him. Not a great cut. The guy bounces up pretty quickly. All right. Now, let's take a look at Adenogy doing something somewhat similar. This guy actually looks like he's a little bit tighter. I would say he's probably in a three technique. A little hard to tell from these TV angles sometimes. But I would say he's actually in a three technique. All right. Adenogy is going to reach him. All right. Gets his back in there. All right. Doesn't even, doesn't even cut him. All right. Gets in a real good position. You know, gets his back on him so he can't just come screaming down the line to make the tackle. So we'll go back to that same play, and now I want to focus on the left guard. Okay? The left guard is going to work up to this linebacker. Okay? And that linebacker, you know, he's going to be flowing pretty quickly a lot of the time. So, again, this is something, you know, that involves a lot of athleticism from some very large men. And Jordan kind of overplays it a little bit. Right? He overplays it a little bit. The linebacker comes underneath him, and the linebacker makes the tackle on Mixon. All right, it's a good play uh, overall for the offense. All right, Mixon, Mixon, you know, picks up a few yards on this. Uh, but, you know, Jordan misses his block. If he makes that block, all right, slow it down, look right there. Let's say that this guy is right here being blocked by Jordan. Now, all of a sudden, you've got a one-on-one -on -one with Mixon and that safety coming down. And Mixon can choose his cut, all right? So, Mixon could cut this thing, and, and maybe that goes for a big gain, right? There's another defender pursuing here. There's another defender pursuing here, you know, that might be able to, you know, if he does juke this guy up, track him down. Uh, but he's probably going to pick up some more yards on that. Uh, if, you know, I, I like that. I like that matchup. I like uh, Joe Mixon being able to do things uh, and make cuts in the hole. So we want that, all right? This is setting up potentially a big play uh, if the left guard can make this block, all right? Now we're going to look at Adenogy. All right, this is against the University of Oklahoma. All right, again, he's the left tackle. He steps down, all right? And this is a little bit different where the left guard uh, in the clip we just watched before was basically going right up there. He's stepping down. He's responsible for for this gap. If anybody shoots in this gap first, and actually, um, you know, you know, this guy's playing, playing a pretty tight alignment, so he's got to make sure that uh, you know number seven there isn't isn't just screaming down the line, or he'd end up picking him up. So he steps down, and then he works up to the second level. Okay, great job getting into position. All right, I'll let you watch it again here. Great job getting his body into position, up to the second level, cutting off that linebacker, and then swinging his hips around, uh, and you know, getting getting in the guy's way, and really being physical with the guy too, right? Getting his hands on him, right? Look right here, bam! Getting his hands on him, getting some extension, and getting his body away again. Being athletic in space, all right. Now, who's that linebacker? That's Kenneth Murray. That guy was a first round draft pick. All right, so and, then, and that's a guy, obviously, Bengals fans. We were looking at him quite a bit, uh, thinking he might be a prospect for the Bengals uh, at linebacker in the second round. Uh, so we know that guy can can move, right? We know what an athlete that guy is. Uh, so, you know, this is a 300-pounder getting up there, being athletic in space, and making a block on a first-round draft pick. All right, so another good look there. Now, this is something kind of similar. Again, he's stepping down, right? So there's a defensive tackle here. Right away, he's thinking that's going to be kind of his responsibility. He's stepping in there. And if this guy comes strip the field, he's really going to end up picking him up. Okay. Uh, but the guy, the guy stunts the inside gap. So this, the, uh, the gardens have taken it over. 
Okay, but he still steps down and makes sure the, the guard secures his block. All right. Now, what is really impressive here, number one, his awareness. Once again, it's Kenneth Murray. Kenneth Murray shoots this backside gap. So, Adanaji is really, like, pushing down hard to secure this block. Has his eyes up aware of the backer, aware of this guy's stunting away. You know, somebody's going, somebody's coming, right? they gotta, they got to play all these gaps, right? He's got his eyes up, and he sees this stunt. And just the way he reacts, foot in the ground, come back, shifting all that weight around, and then engaging. And again, not look, look, it's not like this is a lights out block for him, but he's kept coming back, getting a shot in, and disrupting. And that's all it takes. Look, if he doesn't do this, look where Kenneth Murray is right now. Right? If Kenneth Murray, Kenneth Murray can flatten that out, it's a tackle for a loss. Easy, right? That's an incredible job by identity, right? Being really athletic, but also being really aware. All right, like I said, I think those are his 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 two strong suits. I think he's highly intelligent, you know, a great processor of information on the field, uh, and super athletic, moves really well in space. And in uh, my film review article, we talk a little bit more about him uh, and how he uh, does in uh, in pass protection, uh, and that's a big part of pass protection too, is being aware. All right, being able to pick up blitzes, being able to pick up stunts. And we talk a lot about a little of that uh, in that article. But I'm going to talk about it here as well. So he's up here at the left tackle spot again. All right. And, then, and again, this is just to relate how intelligent this guy is, how well he processes things. Okay. So right away, you know, he's thinking that defensive end is his guy. Right. He passed sets. Defensive end takes the inside gap. He gives him a little shot to help his guard out. Guard picks it up. Nice little exchange there. All right. And then look at how smoothly he just comes off. Gain some depth and some width. And make sure he picks up that linebacker as well. All right. Now, that guy's not exactly coming screaming off the edge. I get that. But still, athletically, you know, in the way he sorts this out, excellent job by identity there. Um, and you see this this sort of thing with him a lot, you know, taking on stunts, twists. And again, I'll cover that in the film room article, so make sure you go ahead and check that out. Uh, but this is a guy, I think, you got a, a guy who can who can move like that, who can process like that in the sixth round, uh, you know, at that size. That's incredible, right? That's a great get for the Bengals. Uh, and this is a guy who uh, has some precision versatility as well. So uh, I... I expect him to have a very good chance at getting a roster spot. Um, and, you know, I think he's a guy that, that could develop uh, and, you know, maybe be a big part of this offense in the coming years. So uh, not as early as people, as many would have liked uh, to, to strike on the offensive line, but I think they got a really good one, a really good solid developmental guy. Uh, you know, last year they drafted uh, Michael Jordan in the fourth round. Uh, and he's played pretty well and, and you know, projects as a starter next year. Um, they stole uh, <laughs> Fred Johnson, the undrafted free agent, off of uh, Pittsburgh's practice squad. Uh, and he looked pretty good down the stretch, too. Uh, so this is another young guy to add in with, with those two. Uh, you know, young guys, developmental. Um, uh, uh, looks like Jordan's in a good spot, you know, at guard. Um Fred Johnson, you know, competing for a tackle spot. Uh, and, you know, Adanaji brings that versatility. Uh, and they said he's going to play both. You know, uh, Callahan came out and said that. Um, I believe it was actually Zach Taylor who, who said that he has been one of uh, O-line coach Jim Turner's uh, favorites throughout the, the uh, draft process. Um, so, you know, this is a guy, he's, he's got that intelligence, that athleticism, and that position versatility, starting at, at tackle a little bit, but, you know, he can get a chance uh, at guard as well. Uh, and that, that's a guy that brings quite a bit of value to this Bengals team. So uh, check out the uh, film uh, room article as well. Uh, you know, gets into a few different plays, and I guess a little bit more into the pass protection. Uh, so definitely check that stuff out. Uh, and... 
Uh, keep coming back because uh, I'm going to have more videos, uh, three more videos covering all of the draft uh, draftees and almost the draft prospects. Uh, just because I've been saying that for months. <laughs> but uh, all of the draftees will be covered in film articles uh, and in some videos. So uh, keep on coming back to Cincy Jungle.